Hello, hello, hello. It's been a long time since I have jumped on a live and I wanted to jump on here, give you guys a little bit of update what's happening and give you some inspo and talk about healing uh, ligaments, connective tissue, cartilage and things of this nature. Because uh, there's a lot of people out there who've got a torn ACL or, you know, any one of the many different problems uh, when it comes to ankles, when it comes to knees, when it comes to shoulders, uh, you know, tendonitis, like there's so many things that exist, but I want to focus on one of these subjects and uh, put some concepts out there that, you know, you'll be told if you tear your ACL or if you have any one of these problems with ligaments or connective tissue that you have to have surgery. Uh, we're taught that, oh, you know, I've injured myself and the ligaments like this rubber band that connects everything and that now that's torn and so that has to be like reattached and put it back together so that it can heal and that's not actually the truth. Um, you see the way that all of this tissue actually works is very similar to like your fingernails, for example. So I have fingernails and uh, if I gained a lot of weight, let's say, you know, I gained an extra 10 kilos, 20 kilos, or even if I didn't gain an extra 10 or 20 kilos, if I'm constantly running and constantly putting stress on my ligaments and my tissues, you know, high intensity training, strength training, things of this nature, um, I'm going to be putting stress on all of these ligaments. And it's like if I were to take a nail file, which I don't have a nail file here, but imagine I took a nail file and started filing down my nail. Well, I could do that for probably quite some time, but over time, that would get down to the actual tissue and that would start to hurt and it start to create some problems. So this is like what happens when people actually damage and injure their cartilage and tissues. It's like filing it down over time and distance, or they might actually have a tear. And so you'll always be told by a doctor, oh, we have to go in and do surgery. That's not actually the case. It's not actually the truth. In fact, if you just simply did nothing, uh, it would heal itself. It's like if I've got a nail file and I file down my nail and somebody comes to me that's all red and raw and disgusting and I'm like, hey, they're like, hey, how do I heal this? And I'm like, well, why is the nail gone? Well, I'm constantly filing. Well, stop filing and it will grow back. It is actually the same thing. Okay. And there's been a lot of research that's been done where uh, surgeons decided to do a study and actually test this. And so instead of doing the surgery, they would pretend they did the surgery, they'd actually do an incision, but they wouldn't do the surgery. And they'd put people through the same process of recovery, covering it up, going through the process, taking it really slow. And the, the ligaments and the tissues would heal and repair, regardless of whether they had surgery or not. And in fact, if you have surgery, you might actually be worse off because of the scar tissue that is generated from the actual surgery itself. And so I just want to put it out there that, you know, every mammal on planet Earth, if it gets injured, you know, if a gazelle breaks its leg or if a grizzly bear or any type of mammal injures itself, it naturally instinctually will stop, give total rest to the injured limb and typically fast. Now, in the process of fasting, because you're avoiding any form of calories and proteins and these things, and it seems counterintuitive. People think, well, if I need to rebuild my tissue, don't I need amino acids and proteins and fats and all these things to contribute to rebuilding? A lot of people are like drinking bone broth, eating animal flesh, you know, oh, if I eat muscles, doesn't that help me build muscle? If I drink bone broth, doesn't that help with my bones and ligaments? No, it doesn't actually work like that. And in fact, if you don't eat anything and you just drink water, no calories, no sugars, none of that, our body goes into burning our own fat stores. And I recently, just about a week ago, uh, did a three day water fast because in three days of a water fast, you go into full ketosis, your body goes into autophagy, it starts cleaning up scar tissue and all the excess superfluous tissues of the body. Uh, but as your body gets into full ketosis, within about 48 hours, you start releasing what are called embryonic style stem cells. Now these stem cell cells then are, have a, a radical action of traveling around the body through our bloodstream and actually regenerating tissue. So in fact, the best thing you could do 
if you have an injury or a torn ligament uh, or, or an aggressive inflamed knees or shoulders or ankles or any inflammation in your body where you have problems, you know, I see people all the time have, you know, shoulder problems, elbow, elbow problems, knee problems. And it's like fasting is going to reduce the load. You're going to get rid of a lot of fat. You're going to get rid of a lot of superfluous tissue. You're going to lose a lot of weight. So it's actually a lot easier on your ankles and your knees, etc. You're going to give yourself some time for those stem cells to go to the locations where there is pain because pain is that response that's saying like, Hey, Bob over here. So when you have pain in your knees or your ankles or different places and you fast, the pain is the signal and response that gets the uh, stem cells to go to that location. And of course you can use essential oils, you can massage, but the point is you want to completely as much as possible immobilize the limb and allow it the actual space to heal. Stop filing, get some stem cells in there and actually heal. So, you know, my goal, one of my goals in life is to create these healing hubs around the world where people can go and actually be fully catered to. You know, a lot of people have a tough time just letting go and fasting and allowing other people to take care of them. Well, that's what these healing hubs are for, is a place where you can go and actually fast. And there's a few other people that are actually fasting there too. There's great connections. And I find that misery loves company. So when you're fasting, having other people around you that are fasting and there for the same purpose is actually really important. It's really inspiring and it helps you to get the job done. Um, the first hub that we've set up is in Melbourne, Australia. My brother actually runs it. His name is Thor Tolman. He's got a massive heart. He knows all of the Tolman methods. Uh, when I was running a healing hub uh, and center in Bali, Indonesia, he was there for long periods of time and facilitating, um, and he does an amazing job. And so what I would say is, whether you have damaged ligaments or cartilage or inflammation or issues or not, having a place to go where we can fast and rest and learn about the qualities of health and how to support detoxification while we're fasting is super important. And so we have this hub. You can see it on my website, tylertolman.com. And I would recommend booking some time, uh, whether it's one week or up to four weeks. Um, I do want to say that if, if anybody from this video actually books four weeks, that I will do a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you. Um, I'll look at your iridology, your sclerology, and your blood results to give you the most optimal plan for healing. And you got to understand, you know, for over a decade, I've been helping people with major forms of cancer, heart disease, uh, digestive conditions, autoimmune conditions, you name it. Um, if you have something that's going on, an inflammatory thing that's been just kind of residual over a long time period, if you believe you have to have surgery, I've worked with so many people that have supposedly needed to have fused discs, you know, and have to go have surgery. I've had people that supposed to have surgery for kidney disease and have a kidney transplant, like so many different things. I've been able to assist people fully back to health. Uh, and I don't do consultations anymore. I have lots of coaches now uh, that do that. They're very affordable. They do an amazing job. But if you book four weeks at the hub, I will do a one-on-one -on -one consultation and work with you on a specific plan for healing. Uh, the four weeks also doesn't have to have to be used all at once. You could go for 10 days this year. You could go for 10 days, you know, later on in the year or next year. You can book different times. You could gift it to somebody. You could use two weeks for yourself and two weeks for a partner or two weeks for somebody else, you know, staying in a different room. Um, and I just highly recommend if, if you do have any major inflammatory conditions or tendonitis or any type of ligaments or damage, or you just need to lose some weight, uh, this is the fastest way to lose weight and it's absolutely guaranteed. <laughs> Water fasting is guaranteed to help you to lose actual kilograms of fat. And the nice thing about when you go into a fast is your body first within about that first couple of days and you go into autophagy, you start to get rid of the visceral fat around your heart, which makes your heart so much more healthy. You get rid of the fat inside of your liver, which gets your liver functioning the way that it should, and your pancreas, which improve, improves your A1C, your blood sugar. 
you know, fasting has been around for thousands of years and we're just not doing it. And I understand why. Like I said, I just finished a three day water fast. And at the end of three days, I was absolutely over it. And fasting in your own environment, your home where you're used to eating um, is, is not the best. Um, it's best to go somewhere, be fully supported, plan it, prepare yourself, do the right things. And especially doing it with other people. If, if there's anything that you could do to make it as easy as possible, that is the way to go about it, is do it with other people, with the right intention, being guided, fully supported, able to go have colonics, able to have massages, able to have everything provided in a clean environment. So I just want to jump on here and kind of dispel the myth of needing surgeries for knee problems and ankle problems and all sort of this. I absolutely swear to you, I've had so many people uh, question me on this and a lot of people like for months like oh no that can't be right and sending me information and talking back and forth and then eventually signing up for my coaching my coaching by the way is you know over 10,000 USD but certain people you know they they wanted to do it and every single time when they've followed the actual script and plan of what to do these people have been able to heal themselves and many other conditions so I know you can heal yourself and whether you need to heal or not, massive upgrades, detoxification, genetic activation through the process of fasting. Uh, of course, Socrates, Pythagoras, Plato, Da Vinci, Christ, all these people of the ancient past that were fasting were not just doing it to heal disease, but to take themselves mentally and spiritually to a whole nother level. It's about connection. It's about awakening. It's about so much more. So I hope in these few minutes I've had an opportunity to inspire you guys. Um, I would recommend going and checking out the Healing Hub and booking some time um, for yourself. Uh, it fills up very quickly, so look at the dates. I'm sure you can get in. It'll be an absolutely transformational experience. And once you do it once at a hub, you'll know all the details of everything you need to do to be able to fast on your own and be able to do it successfully. Um, a big thing about fasting is, you know, if you do it and you, you're not really supported and you don't do it right and you have a really bad experience, you'll probably never want to fast again. And in fact, it can be so traumatic that every time you try to fast, it's such a visceral ex negative experience that you probably won't be able to do it. So if you've had that experience before and you don't like fasting or you just want to have a good experience first, Healing Hub is the way to go with my brother Thor reach out to us. Like I said, if you book four weeks, I'll do a one-on-one -on -one consultation and help guide you through the process of healing. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. Talk to you soon.